Good morning, Internet people. Welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I'm Sierra. I'm Mr. And little man is here with us. Where's the little man? Me. <laughs> you Hi. Gonna... Hi. And we also have a special guest. Hi. Special guest, who are you? Grandma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have Grandma here with us. Um, I don't know how many videos I'll be making while she's here, but my goal is to make at least two. Today we are here in York. Um, we're actually in the car in York. We don't really have much of a plan for today, except for I think we're going to try to go to York Minster and the Yorvnik Viking Museum. Probably donuts and probably the shambles because they're really interesting, but that's all that's on the agenda. So now that it's stopped raining, we're going to get out of the car and we're going on an adventure. Whoa. I see a lot of birds. I do see a lot of birds. I wonder what they're doing. Eating. You think they're eating? Why right they are eating? I think they're probably looking for worms. Okay. Yeah, because it just rained and so the dirt's real cold so the worms come up to get warmed up. I can't go in the mud, huh? Why not? The mud is so dirty. Hey guys, uh, we're on our way to York Minster right now, but I've never actually, all the times I've been to York, I've never actually been to the um, ah! gardens, museum gardens it's area. So it's starting to rain again, oh boy, but there's these really pretty ruins here. And I've definitely like walked past them, like from the street and seen Mama, them, but I've never walked go through them. Go get the what? No hurry. Why? Why? Because it's not just too rainy. Oh no, if you get too wet, you'll probably melt, right? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. That is too rainy. Hurry, <laughs> I know. That's the bell. That's the bells. It's a 12 o'clock bell. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're inside of the cathedral now. I'm going to show you guys how amazing it is in a second, but sneak peek. Wow. Um, before we walk around and I show you some little bits, I just want to tell you something that they have on for children that is really good. They have the little explorer packs. Little man is currently, I think he's inspecting his grandma with the binoculars right now. Um, but they have little binoculars in them and it's basically just full of things that the children can do while they're here. I think it has also a magnifying glass and a little treasure hunt. So if you come here with children, there's a little activity for them to do. Okay, what do I do with it? To check that. Okay, I hope to look in here. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a whole lot bigger. Can you see it really well? I see you. You see me, I see you. Oh, You're making me real small. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, maybe you zoomed out a little bit. What is it? It's um, not Jesus. It's a Jesus, do you think? Do you see it? I don't think it's Jesus, bud. You do you see it? Mm-hmm, I do see it. It's actually That's super cool. Bible. It is all about the Bible, you're right about that. And this, I think, is the Apostle Peter. Yeah, he's think. Mm -hmm. So it says right here, the call of Peter. The call. 
or with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was one of Jesus' friends. Mm -hmm. You're Jesus' friend too. Whoa, look. Hmm. No, oh, yeah, there's a baby right there, isn't it? I said a baby. They're called cherubs. They're like little angels. You measuring everything? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look how cool is that. You're doing just like that. Yep. No, oh, look at that. It's the queen. I know. I know. Get my little history buff. Let's go investigate that chapel. Come on. fall down the stairs while I do it. Wow. I know this is kind of morbid, but I really like crypts because I feel like there's like a, I don't know, extra sense of peace or something in them. I don't know. If you've been to a lot of old churches, let me know if you feel like extra quiet and peaceful when you're in the crypt. Maybe it's just them cold. I don't know, but it's really interesting. This one's actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. For some reason, I don't know why. I thought it'd be like huge, like the Notre Dame one, but it's not. What is it? It's nothing? Looks like a real creepy nothing. It's a picture of a cauldron of burning souls. Of burning the souls in hell. Basically. Oh. It's a gruesome sound. It's from the first of the music. These are the little demons. Wow. Look at all the colors. If I had the whole afternoon, I would count the different colors in the mosaic. So interesting. Can you show me what's in the hole? I can't see. Ooh, it's dark. Let me see. Wow. Yes. It's good to have a torch, huh? Wow, they just put all the broken pieces in there, didn't they? Yeah, it just only sprouts. Yeah. What about down here? What's over here? Oh wow, that goes. It keeps going, doesn't it? It's just nothing. Oh, it's just nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's just nothing, then we should keep going. Then they built this Winster around it. So in oh. that door is a gap between this one and the one that we can see outside. Wow. Is that a dragon? There's no dragon. No. There is a coffin. What? Oh, a coffin. Yeah. There are some, some. In, it's just a gap. It's just a space. Mm. And this is where we store everything. Mm, Can you see? see. What cool. happened? What that thing? That's um, that's a bit of stone that's come off the minster that we have to keep everything. Mm. So all of this is storage, basically. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But the dragon lives down there, the right? Yeah, the dragon is that way. No. Oh. Shine your light down there. Good job, baby. It is like a look, it is like a Marauder's map. I wonder I mean, if J.K. Rowling, she was inspired by the shambles. I wonder if she was inspired by like this. 
or like, I don't know. So neat. Good job, you found it. I don't know if this is made even after the books. I don't know. I don't know, but it's cool. But it's cool. All right, Grandma's first donut. <laughs> It's not really a trip to downtown York without a trip to Doe. How is it, Grandma? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Little man, is it delicious? Yeah. Hey guys, so I am currently standing in the gift shop of Yorvik Viking Center here in York, and we've just been through and out. I didn't film any face-to-face -face content inside just because it's really not a big place, but um, the gift shop is super tiny and it's actually in a south entrance, so if you wanna come just to see the gift shop, you can do that, you don't have a ticket. But um, this museum is really unique and special because it's part kind of like theme park ride, um, but also part museum. Um, and it's also interesting because all the things that you're gonna see in the museum were actually recovered very close to where the museum was built, which is very interesting. So basically the way it works is you go in first and there is a little, um, reconstruction of the dig site on the floor and there's a chance to go to Lou there and then after that you go into kind of like a well it's not actually Peter Pan but the vessel that they put you in um, it's like a moving car um, it's kind of like the Peter Pan flight car um, that you sit in the front and to and back and they actually have characters in the story that are in the museum later which is really awesome you don't know what that is bud yeah. what does it look like it's a, a big whatever it is. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, it's poop. Oh my Another thing I learned is when we were coming through, Little Man had mentioned to the guy, it's like Disney. And one of the people who worked here actually told us that the people who made the animatronics for this ride are actually the same people who made the ones for Disney. So like think Pirates of the Caribbean type humans, which is really cool. And actually I did notice, I don't know if I have a clip. If I do, I'll put it in here again but there's actually a little dog and this the second dog in the um ride looks almost exactly like the dogs that are in the pirates of the caribbean ride so if that's something that you notice while you're here or maybe if you know what i'm talking about maybe if i don't know what i'm talking about let me know in the comment section but yeah that was really neat and then after that you go through kind of just like you know a regular classic museum it is really small a little bit bigger than this gift shop which i'll show you guys the size of it again like this but um it's really interesting to see and I definitely learned a lot and I have a feeling little man's been talking about Vikings for like the next couple of months. So yeah, the place is about to close and I think they want to close the doors. So I'm going to get out of here, but I think we're going to go for a walk and then grab some dinner. Moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, okay. Mm, it's good. It's good plant chicken. Mm, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Little man, how is the plant chicken? But that's your bread delicious. Super delicious. Awesome. And good. And good. Okay. Is yours delicious, baby? The vertic is out. It might be a bit mm. spicy. It's not spicy. Yum. Yeah. That's your bread so delicious. It's